This is a mini seated electric scooter. It's a little goofy and a little underwhelming. So in this video, let's change that. Yeah. So this is the Fido Q1S, a full suspension mini seated electric scooter with dual cable brakes, a horn, headlight, display, half twist throttle, pegs, tiny little hub motor, an integrated battery, a wireless key with a motion alarm, folding bars, and it comes with two seats, one for your butt and one for your balls. And my favorite thing is that it's small, but still has a remarkably comfortable seating position. Look at this. Now, before we upgrade, let's see how this does totally stock. This thing is so slow, I'm full throttle right now. It's impossible to take yourself serious on this, but it's also so comfortable. And I think the geometry has a lot of potential. So let's see how this bike does with some power upgrades. Here's the plan. I've got a 72 volt tri battery, a BAC 4000 motor controller, and a set of 12 inch supermoto wheels. I wanna throw these all on the scooter, but it's gonna require some serious custom work. So I'm on my way to Domo at Supervolt. Oh, no. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> That's me trying to go straight. <laughs> what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? But this bike has zero interest in. <laughs> All right, this is the last time we're seeing the scooter stock. I'm leaving it in Domo's hands. Let's see what he does to it. Okay, I left it with Domo for three days. This was it before versus now. The only difference between this bike and a 72 volt Saron is the frame. Domo installed my 12 inch Saron wheels, Saron brakes, my old Saron throttle, a DNM shock, a Saron chain, Saron motor, a BAC 4000 Saron controller, and a 72 volt Saron battery. He fabricated an extended swing arm and installed a new set of front forks. The bike is looking pretty sweet. Let's see how it rides. Should ride like a Suron based on everything that's on it. Here we go. Wow. We're out. Oh, it's so much more powerful. This is a 72 volt Suron powertrain going from a 350 watt hub motor. I'm really glad we put the bigger wheels on. This feels so good. This is like the geometry, the seating position with the bigger wheels and the extended swing arm. This actually feels like factory. I actually wanted this to be a wheelie bike. And the, the reason I'm not gonna wheelie it today is because, um, I don't know if you saw in my last video, I actually hit my head. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, for the rest of that video, I felt fine. But the next day, I really started getting some concussion symptoms and it, they, it just hasn't gone away. I've had a concussion now for over a week and I went to the doctor yesterday. Apparently it's not supposed to last more than a week. And um, he said, if I hit my head before it's done healing, I could die. Now I'd rather die than not wheelie, but if it's just a matter of another week or so, I'm gonna take it easy. So I'm not gonna wheelie this bike, although it definitely could. It really goes to show how important helmets are because even with the helmet on, that that put me out. I've been had a headache, I've had a little bit of nausea, loss of focus for over a week now. But I'm really glad I was able to make this video. Shout out to Domo for basically doing everything on this one. He uh, He's the man. If you want any kind of custom builds, you can check him out at Supervolt. I'll link him down below. This feels amazing. Like I am flying on this tiny bike and I'm si sitting really comfortably upright. It's silent, it's smooth as hell. That's my favorite kind of bike, small but powerful. And a little bit goofy, which this is. Let's do a quick top speed run. Here we go. The phone's recording, let's go, full throttle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be, nah, so this is one of those bikes 
where I don't have the balls to hit top speed on this. That wasn't even half throttle. Let's see what that was. 65 miles per hour on the dot. That was 65 miles per hour, half throttle on this tiny little bike. Wait, let me just show you how small this is. It doesn't, it doesn't get much smaller than this. I mean, except for the extended swing arm, this is a micro bike. But like I said at the beginning of the video, even though it's small, it's so comfortable to sit on. Like the seating position is pretty much unbeatable. Now I've got a really big announcement. The winner of the Talaria Sting R has been selected. Now for those of you just joining now on March 4th, I launched my brand Charge PEV, the world's first detailing line designed for all things electric. And to celebrate, I am giving away my 72 volt Suron. Now, to keep the giveaway legal and fair, I have to go through a third party facilitator and they encouraged me to do the giveaway for 90 days, which I thought at the time was a good idea. Um, and I locked in on 90 days. You can't change it once you get it set up. I have no care for street laws right now. I'm on a micro beast. So the 72 volt Suron giveaway is locked in for 90 days, which I really quickly realized is so long. So on April 1st, I added the Talaria Sting R to the giveaway, making it a double bike giveaway. So anyone that entered was then entered into both a Talaria and the Suron for one month. That month is up. The winner has been selected by the third party facilitator and he will be announced right now. We're matching right now, this is awesome. Skylar, pleasure to meet you. I love that we're matching right now. And I just wanted to congratulate you on winning the Talaria Sting R. I've really been watching the videos every single day. I started like a little lawnmower business. I was saving up for a gas dirt bike, but I thought this cleaning supplies would might work for it. Yeah, so I just got that and you're He's also He's one my of favorite. your biggest followers. That means the world to me. And I just love that we're both wearing helmets right now. This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just ran to the garage and grabbed my helmet because I knew it was part of the culture or whatever. Dude, I love it. I love that so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for participating. And congratulations, dude. Are you cool if I put some of this in the, in, the, in this weekend's video? Hell yeah. Is there anything you want to say to the world? Sean is the best YouTuber ever. <laughs> that was the right answer, by the way. Thank you for always wearing a helmet in your videos. I think that is like the coolest thing that you do for the kids. <laughs> Thank you. Thank All right. You. Peace out. Congratulations to Skylar. He's a super cool kid. Just started his own landscaping business to save up for a bike. He purchased a Charge PV bundle to clean his future bike, but boom, now he's got his own brand new Talaria Sting R because he participated in the double bike giveaway. Now don't lose your hopes. If you entered the double bike giveaway, the 72 volt Suron is still up for grabs. That's up for another 30 days. Let's see if I can sneak through here because it's legally locked in. If it were up to me, I would give it away right now. Oh, that's a motorcycle cop up there. I'm turning. <laughs> I am turning. Motorcycle cops are the worst. I've got to say on, on a selfish note, it feels really good to give away bikes like this. And I want to keep doing it. My goal now is to give away a bike until everybody has a bike. So here's my plan. I'm going to do a giveaway every 10 days and it's not going to be some rinky dinky bike. It's gonna be like a Suron or Talaria every 10 days. Now the 72 volt Suron giveaway is still legally locked in for another 30 days or so. So to keep it interesting, I am gonna add another bike. So it will be a double bike giveaway again. So stay tuned for that. I'll announce what bike I'm giving away in addition to the 72 volts are on in the next video. Thank you so much to everyone that's participating. It means the world to me for you to support my new small business, Charge PV. And I'm so excited to keep giving away bikes. Like it is actually so fun for me to see people who don't have a bike now have one and not just any bike, but a badass bike. Thank you so much to Domo at Supervolt for building this insane bike. It's literally a 72 volt are on on a tiny little rinky dink goofy ass frame. As always, thank you so much for watching. I do